Donald Trump returns to Twitter nearly two years after getting banned following Elon Musk poll. Donald Trump is asking a judge to restore his Twitter account. During his final weeks in office, then-President Trump's verified Twitter account was permanently suspended following the deadly January 6 riots at the U.S. Capitol. Former President Donald Trump is continuing his quest to get back on social media, asking a federal judge in Florida to force Twitter to restore his account, after the company suspended it in January following the riots at the U.S. Capitol. On Friday, Trump's attorneys filed a motion in U.S. District Court in Miami arguing that Twitter is violating Trump's First Amendment rights by censoring him, the Associated Press reports. According to the app, the filing seeks a preliminary injunction against both Twitter and its CEO, Jack Dorsey. During his final weeks in office, then-President Trump's verified Twitter account was permanently suspended after the January 6 riot at the U.S. Capitol, in which his supporters stormed the building as lawmakers counted the Electoral College votes certifying President-elect Joe Biden's November election win. In a company blog post, Twitter cited two of Trump's tweets after the riot one of which included a declaration that he would not be attending Biden's inauguration on January 20, as a violation of the glorification of violence policy. Twitter believed the statement could be received by a number of his supporters as further confirmation that the election was not legitimate and is seen as him disavowing his previous claim made via two tweets. That there would be an orderly transition on January 20. In February, executives for the tech company said they would uphold the ban on Trump, even if he were to run for office again. The way our policies work, when you're removed from the platform, you're removed from the platform, whether you're a commentator, a CFO or a current or former public official, Twitter CFO Ned Siegel told CNBC in an earlier interview. Our policies are designed to make sure that people are not inciting violence, and if anybody does that we have to remove them from the service and our policies don't allow them to come back," Siegel continued. He was removed when he was president and there'd be no difference for anybody who's a public official once they've been removed from the service. Facebook and Instagram also announced that Trump would be banned indefinitely from the platforms following the rioting. Trump appealed his punishment to Facebook's Oversight Board, an appeals group funded by the company which found in May that his ban was appropriate but that the guidelines for it were too vague. In June, Facebook announced that it would review the ban in 2023 and only reinstate Trump once the risk his conduct poses to the public has receded. YouTube, owned by Google parent company Alphabet also banned Trump's account following the attempted insurrection. The company has said it would lift its suspension of the former president's channel when it determines the risk of real-world violence has decreased. In July, Trump announced he would lead class-action lawsuits against three of the country's biggest tech companies, Facebook, Twitter and Google, and their CEOs following his bans on their platforms. Trump was permanently suspended by Twitter under its previous ownership, due to the risk of further incitement of violence in the wake of the January 6, 2021, Capitol riot. Former President Donald Trump made his return to Twitter Saturday night, nearly two years after being permanently suspended by the platform following a violent riot at the U.S. Capitol in which his supporters stormed the building as lawmakers counted the Electoral College votes certifying President-elect Joe Biden's November election win. Twitter CEO Elon Musk said Trump's account would be reinstated following a Twitter poll he initiated. The people have spoken. Trump will be reinstated. Fox Populi, Fox D Musk tweeted. Trump's account was lived shortly thereafter.
The 76-year-old Trump's return to the platform comes just weeks after Musk's acquisition of Twitter became official. Back in May, the 51-year-old Tesla CEO said that he would reverse the permanent ban against Trump if his then-planned acquisition of the platform moved forward. Permanent bans should be extremely rare and really reserved for accounts that are bots, or scam, spam accounts. I do think it was not correct to ban Donald Trump, Musk said at a conference, according to a CNBC report. I think that was a mistake, because it alienated a large part of the country and did not ultimately result in Donald Trump not having a voice. Trump's account was first locked for 12 hours on January 6, 2021, just hours after the riots began, when the platform announced it would remove three of the then-president's tweets for repeated and severe violations of our civic integrity policy. At the time, the company warned further violations of its policies would result in permanent suspension of the at real Donald Trump account. The company followed through days later, announcing, after a close review of recent tweets from the at real Donald Trump account and the context around them we have permanently suspended the account due to the risk of further incitement to violence. In a company blog post, Twitter cited two of Trump's tweets, which included a declaration that he would not be attending Biden's inauguration on January 20 as a violation of the glorification of violence policy. According to Twitter, the statement could be received by a number of his supporters as further confirmation that the election was not legitimate and is seen as him disavowing his previous claim made via two tweets by his deputy chief of staff, Dan Scavino, that there would be an orderly transition on January 20th. The company argued that Trump's use of the phrase American Patriots in another tweet was also being interpreted as support for those committing violent acts at the U.S. Capitol. The mention of his supporters having a giant voice long into the future and that they will not be disrespected or treated unfairly in any way, shape or form is being interpreted as further indication that President Trump does not plan to facilitate an orderly transition and instead that he plans to continue to support, empower, and shield those who believe he won the election, the platform noted.